Hello everyone. I'm Yuki, a sales consultant in the APAC team at Cybozu. Thank you for watching this YouTube channel. In this channel, we explain about Kenton product updates every month. We started this YouTube channel last month in English to share useful information with non Japanese speakers. Today, I'm going to ask Teso san, a Kenton business product manager, about product updates this month. Hello, Teso san. Can you hear me? Hi, Yuki. Hi, how are you? Fine, how about you?、Ah, I'm good, but I'm getting tired of working from home, so today I came to the office. Oh, that's because you can't concentrate in your house? Yeah,、uh, yes, in my house I cannot concentrate on working, and、uh, also I want to see my colleagues at the office.、Oh. Yes,、yeah, so yeah, I came here. Okay, so let's get started.、Mm -hmm. Here are the main updates of September. What is the highlight, Peso san? Well, I think the biggest update is that there is a shortcut to the app setting. Shortcuts. Okay, so let's take a look at each update. First,、uh, thanks to this update, we can now choose to show or hide the duplicate record button on the record details page.、Uh, Peso san, can you explain the details? Yes,、uh, so Kinton has a function called duplicate records, which is、uh, put it in the top of the, this slide. And that is very useful because if you press the button, you can copy that record and then add the same record to the app. Or you press that button and edit a few things that is different and then save it. So that will save your time.、Uh, but sometimes that function doesn't work、uh, in a certain Time because if you have a, for example, required field and you want that field to be added only in a certain process、uh, user and you want to put some default value inside, but if you copy that record, that field is already that field already has the data. So sometimes that misunderstanding happens. So that's why we set a function that the user can enable or disable the duplicate records according to their use case. Oh, I see. And in Kinton,、uh, there is no instruction on each button. So、uh, some beginners、uh, click the,、uh, clicks the button to duplicate the record without knowing what it is and create many s a m e records. But、uh, by choosing to hide the duplicate record button,、uh, we can、uh, avoid this, right? Yeah, exactly. But、uh, for example,、uh, I want to ask Yuki if you still want to copy the record,、mm. but you want to choose which field to copy, what would you do?、Mm. Uh, I'll use action. Oh, that's great.、Mm. A perfect answer. Oh, yes. <laughs> So that's why we had an update about the action function.、Uh, it was, I think, it was already in the last year.、Mm. So that we have a function called action, which、mm. is also can copy the field to some fields. And it is mainly recognized as to copy the data from app to another app.、Mm. But、uh, surprisingly, that action can be used in the same app. So,、oh. by using that action function, you can just choose which field to recopy it. And then, if you save it as settings, the user can use that as a button.、Mm. So, I, th、uh, I hope that if people want to use it in that use case, they will rather use action button than the、uh, duplicate records. And also, we also have an update in 2020 October, which is next month,、mm. to be able to change the button's、uh, order so that u s e r can. Change which button to come first. Oh, okay, thank you. And I didn't know that、uh, we, can, uh, we can copy data in the same application by action, by using action.、Mm. Yeah, I think action is quite a kind of、uh, tricky function in Kinton. So <laughs> maybe not many users know this, but because we have this function right now and we added many. Uh, specification and fields、mm. that can be copied by action. I hope that the user will use action more. 
Mm. But if we use uh, auction to duplicate records, uh, we can label the bottom. So if we uh, if we name so to duplicate, I think it's easier to understand for everyone. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move on to the next. A new shortcut for fast access to individual setting for an app was added. Professor San, can you explain the details? Sure. So this is the one that I speak in the first place. Mm -hmm. uh, so I want to you to imagine what will you do when you want to change the settings in Kinto. Mm -hmm. So for example, imagine that you wanted to change some kind of settings against the notification. So before you had to click the gear mark and then you see that tubs coming over. So you will have to choose the settings tab and change the screen. And then you can see many icons. So you choose the per, uh, notification, which is a bell mark. Mm -hmm. And then finally, you can start changing the settings. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the people who aren't used to Kintone, doesn't know where, how to get that settings place, right? Mm -hmm. Even though there's a gear mark. Mm -hmm. And for the people who are already familiar to Kintone, it's a waste of time, right? They have yeah. to click so many places to get to the settings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why we added this uh, V yeah. triangle mark. You can see in the after yes. right? Yes, yeah. I can see. So in this case, if you want to change the settings of the notification, you just have to click that mark and then you can see the list of the app settings and you can easily find the notification, which is a bell mark there. And if you click there, you can directly go to the settings of that place. So it will really save time and make the improvement of the Kintone very fast. Oh, I see. And by using Kintone, we can customize and grow our own application as the business changes. So we often touch the setting. So I think it is very helpful for those who manage apps. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I hope this update will make it more faster for the user and the yeah. manager to grow the use of Kintone. Yeah, and as a sales consultant, I'm very happy with this update because we can uh, easily show what we can do in the setting to the customers. Oh yeah, I think that yeah. uh, I think also the partner may be very uh, great to see it because you just click there and you see auto notification that can be set by Kenton. So it's very easy to describe, I think. Yeah, that's right. Okay, thank you. So let's move on to the next. So now uh, we can directly access the setting from the record list view that we are currently in. So Peso-san, can you explain the details? Uh, yes. So this is a kind of a same update mm. as the one that I just spoken. Uh, if you click that V button, you see that in this screen, it said open settings of this view. Mm. So if it's kind of same, but uh, if you want to change some kind of list view, you already have that view in the screen. Mm -hmm. So you want to directly go to that part. Mm -hmm. So in that case, this uh, place, if you click that, you can go directly to that setting page of the view that you opened, that you, screen, mm -hmm. you see in the screen. So if you are opening some kind of graph and click that shortcut, it will guide you to the graph setting. If you are opening some kind of record, that means I think you want to change the format of the app. So it will directly navigate to the form settings. So it will correspond to where you want to change according to the screen that you are now looking at. Mm -hmm. I see. And uh, even before the update, we could easily access the form setting page. But to access the record list view, we have to click many times to access setting page. So thanks to this update, we can now directly access the setting page. So it is also helpful those who manage apps, right? Yeah, exactly. So I think the point that you said was described already in the past slide. But this is like a shortcut, shortcut, more shortcut, yeah. like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy with this update. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So let's move on to the next. Mm -hmm. So next one, it's about space list. 
on the space management page, uh, we can now see who has created and last updated each space. So, Professor San, can you explain the details? Yes. Uh, so, if you go into the space management, which is in the people who are have the management against the Kinton, you can see this page and easily find which space are made. Mm -hmm. And initially, it was only like 20 spaces that you can see in one time. Oh. So if you have like many spaces, you only have to click that arrow button to see next, 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 next. It's really fun, uh, difficult to find. So we just made it to 500 so that you can oh. see all in one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can get uh, more information about space now. Yeah. Yeah. And also, we also add the other created by and created date time, which was already added in the app management. So I think yeah. there are more critical information that you might yeah. want to know. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So let's move on to the next. Oh, this is also about space list. So now we can download space list to CSV file. So, Peso Sam, please explain the detail. Yes, so it's kind of, uh, we already add the update in July mm. to able to download the list of apps in a CSV mm. file. So this update is quite simple. We did the same things to the space list so that, and the concept is also the same, make it easier for the manager or administrator to manage the spaces that is made inside your domain. Okay, thank you. So let's move on to the next. And uh, this is the last one. Mm -hmm. so now, notifications from apps will be marked as red by actions triggered through email notifications. And I don't understand what it is about. So, Peso san, can you explain the details? Oh, have you ever tried this email notification? No. By the way, uh, can you send notifications to email? Yeah. <laughs> so, that is the uh, settings that you can do set to each user. So the user can um, go into their individual setting and choose receive email notification. Mm -hmm. And that will allow the notification only, not only that happens inside Kintone, but also send you the email. Oh. So this is the, the left image is that email. Oh, the great. Image of the notification. Yeah. Oh, great. But there was one hard part. Mm. So, you receive a notification by email, right? Yes. So you click this link and go to that app. Mm. And then maybe, for example, if it's a process management, you will approve or disapprove or do something to that app. And you will finish the, that task, right? Yes. But if you go see the left upper part of the Kintone, there's a bell mark and mm. you see one, number one which is which means that you have the notification so you click that and you see the notification that you already received an email the same notification mm -hmm. so the user think what i already received a notification i already checked it i already finished it why is this notification still there mm. so that was really confusing oh it wasn't marked as red before i'm surprised yes, it wasn't <laughs> uh, uh. So, the notification that is accorded to spaces or messages mm. or people that was mm. already marked as red but oh, against the app it wasn't mm. <laughs> so it's like we it is update and but i think it is more like making it easier for the user to do it in the normal way mm. because in the normal way if you see the notification it must disappear right yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's like an update like that. Okay. Uh, so thank you for your explanation. Yeah. And uh, this is the end of today's video. So to our partners, uh, if you have any question, uh, please contact us on Kinton. And to our customers, if you have an interest in uh, Kinton, please contact our partners in your each country. And thank you for watching this YouTube channel and see you next month. So bye. Bye.